guys, it's me, Malibu. So currently, I've been redecorating my room. So I thought it would be cool to try some DIY room decorations from Pinterest. Let's roll the clips. So I started off with yellow acrylic paint and then I painted the whole inside of the jar. So this is what it looks like with one layer of paint. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but it was actually kind of patchy. So I let it dry and added a second layer. This is what it looks like with the second layer, and it looks much better. Next, I got some white acrylic paint. Then I painted a circle for the eye. Next, I drew a half a circle with a sharpie. Next, I drew a mouth with a sharpie. I kind of messed up a little. If you mess up like I did, you can use nail polish remover to remove the sharpie. Last thing I painted on was a pink tongue. After I let the paint dry completely, I outlined the circle and put a dot in the middle. Lastly, I put a line on the tongue, then I also added a lid because I thought it looked prettier. So this is what it looks like when it's done drying. I think it's so cute and adorable. And I give this a two thumbs up. I got a candle from the 99 cent store and I broke it in half to try to get the wick out. Then I looped the wick on the highlighter in the middle of the cup. Then I got some crayons and peeled the wrapper off. It kind of took a long time. The next thing I did was put a can in the middle of a pot. Then I filled the pot with water. I put the crayons in the cans and I let them sit until it melted. Once it's melted, my sister put the crayons in the cup. Then we did the same thing with pink, yellow, green, and blue. So finally I'm done making this crayon candle. The problem with this is you need a lot of crayons to fill this up. Second of all, it takes forever to melt. If you have a lot of time and a lot of crayons, this could be really cool to make. So I give this a one thumbs up. First, my sister cut a rectangle out of a piece of a clear plastic bag. Next, I pinched the middle of the rectangle and tried to form a head. Then I tied a piece of string where the head started. Next, my sister cut the bottom into thin strips to make them look like jellyfish legs. I got a Fiji bottle and filled it up with water. Then I added some blue food coloring to the bottle and shook it. Finally, I added the jellyfish in head first, like the picture, but it didn't look very good. Sadly, I have to say this was an epic fail. I really wanted this to work, but all it looks like to me is hair gel. So, I give it two thumbs down. First, I printed out a picture of a fairy. I will have the link to it in the descriptions below. Then I just cut it out. It was hard to cut out the wing design, so my sister left some white on. Next, I added Mod Podge glue to the black side of the fairy. Then my sister glued the fairy into the jar. She used the end of the paintbrush to make sure everything sticks. Next, I added a layer of glue to the outside of the jar. I added one layer of pink tissue paper over the wet glue. Then I sealed it with another layer of glue. I added sparkles to the outside of the jar. Make sure not to put too much. Lastly, my sister hot glued a fake flower onto the jar below the lid. This 
is my favorite one. It is so cute and inexpensive. It, this was only like $3. This would make a great gift, so I give this a two thumbs up. First, I got 10 Q-tips and cut them in half. They were still a little bit too long, so I trimmed them. Then I used a sharpie to mark where I wanted the Q-tips to go, and I stuck them in. I added some food coloring to some water and dunk all the Q-tips in. As you can see, some of them fell out. Lastly, my sister cut the stem off of a fake flower and poked it into the styrofoam ball. This is actually supposed to be a flower. Can you believe it? Is it an epic fail? The problem with this, the Q-tips would well not stay in because they would keep on hitting each other and falling out. So I give this a two thumbs down. First I rolled up a piece of pipe cleaner. I tried making it bigger with two pipe cleaners, but it didn't work. Then I glued another pipe cleaner to the outer layer. I put a popsicle stick in between and looped the rest of the pipe cleaners. Then I placed it on top of a cup. Then I added some hot water to a cup. Then I added borax. As you can see, I added way too much. I added some food coloring. Lastly, I put the pipe cleaners in the cup. An hour later, I realized I put way too much borax. So I decided to make a new batch. I put way less borax. Then I filled it up with hot water again. I put some more food coloring in and finally dunk the pipe cleaners. After eight hours, they came out like this. So, I did not think this was gonna work, but it actually did. It's so cute and tiny. It actually does look like a crystal. So, for this, I give it two thumbs up. First, I filled up almost all the jar with water. Next, I added glitter to the water. Make sure not to add too much. My statue was too short. So I had to glue two water bottle caps to the base of the jar. Then I put the lid on the jar and turned it upside down. love this one because this is so simple and just so cute. I recommend this as a gift and in fact I'm actually giving this to a special person so I hope they like it. For this I give it two thumbs up. First I folded eight layers of tissue paper in a accordion style. Then my sister tied a ribbon to the middle and made the edges round. Lastly, she turned it to the side, opened it, and separated the layers to fluff it out. So this one was really simple, easy, and expensive. So there's no complaint, so I give it two thumbs up. This video was a lot of fun to do, and I hope some of you would try out some of these that actually work. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe or give it a thumbs up, and see you next time. Bye!